a high school showdown between Big Baller and Prodigy. There could be only one winner, but nobody expected LaMelo Ball to absolutely humiliate his rival, Julian Newman. Two high school stars, both representing their family's brands, and both hyped up to impossible levels by their fathers. Julian Newman and LaMelo Ball were walking remarkably similar paths, and with both possessing awe-inspiring skill on the basketball court, it's no surprise that they were considered the fiercest of rivals. But who was the better prospect? We know the answer today, but back in 2019, when LaMelo's Spire Institute faced off against Newman's Downey Christian School, fans couldn't wait to see who would come out on top. If you've never heard of Julian Newman, this may explain why. LaMelo Ball destroyed his fellow high school celebrity in the matchup, notching a triple-double of 14 points, 12 assists, and 10 boards, while Newman shot a horrible 6 for 25 from the field. Ball was dropping beauties from beyond the arc, throwing insane passes that would make Magic Johnson smile, swatting Newman's shot attempts out of the air, and getting easy finishes at the rim. Spire got the win by almost 40 points. It was game over for the big baller prodigy feud. But even in defeat, Julian Newman was not gracious. He later attempted to restart this once red-hot rivalry by insisting he could still beat LaMelo in a one-on-one. -on -one. What makes this statement even more outrageous, though, is that Newman made this claim after Ball had made it to the NBA. I just don't think he can guard me. Like my ability to shoot the ball from so deep, I don't think he can guard me. It's definitely tough. He's number one pick. If he bullied me to the rim, he might win, but nah, I don't think it can go like that. Julian Newman. LaMelo's old rival certainly loses no points for confidence, but in reality, the Ball versus Newman debates are firmly settled. And not just thanks to LaMelo's performance back in 2019, the big baller has become a genuine star in the NBA. LaMelo not only went on to win Rookie of the Year after being selected with the first overall pick by the Charlotte Hornets, the California native has since made the NBA's all-star team. LaMelo has left his old rival in the dust. While Ball made it to the big time, Newman's star and his stock has faded substantially. Once a high school standout, Julian's skill level has never been in question. But as LaMelo Ball grew older, he grew up too, reaching the remarkable height of 6 feet 7 inches, a near perfect size for an NBA guard. Julian Newman, on the other hand, still stands at 5 feet 7 and weighs around 140 pounds. And no matter how good he is at shooting long-range bombs, his size puts him at a major disadvantage when it comes to making it to the NBA. In the history of the big league of basketball, only nine players have ever stepped onto the hardwood that stood five feet seven or shorter. Almost half of those nine players appeared in less than 100 NBA games each. Making it to the NBA at that size is an accomplishment, but staying there is almost impossible. It's a spot reserved for some of the game's toughest and most skillful guards. The likes of Muggsy Bogues, Earl Boykins, and Spud Webb each defied the odds in their own way. Webb even managed to win an NBA dunk contest. For Julian Newman, though, a lack of height has meant that no matter how hard he works in the gym, he will likely never make it to the NBA. That doesn't mean a career in the sport is out of reach, though. You can bet that with such personality and such skill, Newman will make a name for himself in the game he loves. But a match for LaMelo Ball, Newman is not. In the end, though, the big baller is that damn good that Julian Newman really has nothing to be ashamed of. Which NBA players do you think could beat LaMelo Ball in a one-on-one? -on -one? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, like, and subscribe.